Good morning, Magic fans. We've got a box opening and a booster box opening all in the same video today. This is three booster boxes in this box. We're gonna take a look at these and then we're gonna open up one of the draft booster boxes on the channel to continue our theme this month of draft booster box quest. Um, so also this month there was a, a uh, landfill, like photos from a landfill of somebody found a couple pallets of Modern Horizons 2 and Magic 30 boxes. I don't think these are from the landfill in Texas. I think they're from our distributor in Florida. These boxes look pretty good. Wizards printed this box, this, this card set for a long time, well over a year, I'd say. Uh, when we started, Purchasing these boxes in 2021, the price was um, $214 per box. And then the price has come down since then. Our price in 2022 was about $200 and four, $204 per box. And so these, I got these three boxes for about 179. Shipped, taxes, fees, everything to the door. Um, these all look pretty good. So, might. so we got a little nick on the bottom there. So maybe that's the worst condition one. We'll open up that one today for you. <clears throat> yeah, pretty crispy, pretty nice boxes here. Um, we did get three of them, so we're adding to our position lowering our dollar cost average on Modern Horizons 2. This was one of our favorite sets. Uh, we opened up some collector booster boxes before we had a channel, and we put together enemy fetch land foil, chalk lands. You could get those in these boxes. At the time, those were the cards that everybody was chasing. They were like um, 50 to $75. Uh, you could get them in foil, you could get them in retro frame, you could get them in retro frame foil. And you could get like two or three per box. There was also the Ragaban Nimble Pilfer Monkey Pirate. And so that card <clears throat> was about 50 to $75 at the time. Um, and that is now the most expensive card in the set. So in these packs, we're gonna try to get some fetch lands. We're also gonna try to get Ragavan, the nimble pilfer monkey pirate. We'll see how these packs go. They are sealed pretty good. Quality looks perfect on these. These are not super matte. They're not super shiny. Those are the commons we have. I think there's this is a showcase version. It's kind of like a sketch card. Um, I'll pull those out too and then sort those separately. So we've got regular regular commons, sketch showcase commons, retro frame uncommons. Um, Riptide Laboratory is the rare. Rare lands are always good. You return target wizard you control to your hand for paying a colorless and a blue. We also have Another rare legendary creature, Karth the Lion. Foil Echoing Return Common. Treasure Token. The Nimble um, Pilfer uh, lets you, gives you treasure tokens anytime it is attacked and not blocked. So it's kind of like the modern age goblin. Uh, there's a Common retro frame. So 
Squirrel Mob. Squirrels were also popular in this set. Two rares in the pack. That's pretty cool. So we got Brea's Apprentice, Bird Token. Tough cat music. All right. Chatterstorm is a squirrel. Like I said, that's a common retro frame. Junk Binder, Binder. Extruder is an uncommon. And Sarah's Emissary is the mythic rare. So shiny, shiny foil squirrel and a squirrel token. So that was a very squirrel themed pack. Upside down. Ornithopter of Paradise. Counterspell, awesome. So we got, that's an uncommon, beautiful. General Ferris Rockerick. Ferris Rocks. It's kind of a play on words there, I think. Um, so we have a set of the Shocklands. We actually have a full set of the Showcase cards, the Retro Frame and the Showcase Sketch cards. So I'll put a link in the description to those two little insert sets if you want to see what the Retro Frame set looks like and the Showcase set. Sterling Grove. Blood Braid Marauder in a crab. So it is possible to get two rares per pack. Seals look really good on these boxes, so they're Been well preserved. Profane Tutor by Richard Keane Ferguson. Beautiful, rare. Well preserved for two and a half years while they've been sitting on a shelf or possibly in the landfill. I don't know. I think those pictures might have been staged too. There we have another. Uncommon Showcase Sketch Card, Prophetic Titan, Soul Snare, and there it is. There's our first fetch land of the box, everyone. That's a Verdant Catacombs. I believe that is the most expensive fetch land. The retro frames are trading for about $30 to $35. So in the regular, regular version, which this is, uh, we got $25 to $30 on Verdant Catacombs. There's also um, Ragavan, like I mentioned, Urza Saga. Um, <clears throat> Endurance is a $40 card. Solitude is a $35 card, all in just regular versions. Um, the other fetch lands we have, in addition to Verdant Catacombs, this gives you um, black or green mana. It lets you search for swamp or forest, so you can have black or green mana. There's also Scowling Tarn, Misty Rainforest, Arid Mesa, and Marsh Flats. And they all have like four versions. The regular version, regular foil, retro frame, retro frame foil. Um, probably borderless art too and borderless art foil. So maybe like six versions. Um, but also like Cabal Coffers, Grief, Merc Tide Regent. Those are, those are like 15, $20 cards. So there, in total, there's about 30 cards in this set that are worth over $20. So if you hit a few of those in your box opening, you definitely pay for the box, especially now that the boxes are only like 180 bucks. So we've got a uh, Planeswalker, Foil Jade Avenger, Common Food Token. Do have a lot of these commons and uncommons. We don't need those. Dermo Taxi is the junk rare. So I think we'll let go. Of, we'll put it together a collection of just bulk commons and uncommons as well to get rid of the extra cards. Mr. 
Mystic Redaction by Donato Giancola. We have Patriarch's, Patriarch's Bidding, who is the rare. And Nykthos Paragon is the other rare. Clue token. Territorial Kabu, Junk Winder, Foil, Timeless Witness. Struggling today. There we go. Retro frame. Eve Progenitor Ooze is the rare clue token. Try to get these open without ripping the greed. For black, you pay two life, draw a card. Garth, one eye, awesome. This is not foil. This Slag Strider is foil. Garth the One Eye, you pay a Wooberg, white, blue, black, red, green. Choose a card name that isn't been chosen from Disenchant, Brain Geyser, Terror, Shivan Dragon, Regrowth, Black Lotus. Create a copy of that card with the chosen name. You may cast a copy. So you could, for five co different colored mana, you can cast a copy of a Black Lotus if it hasn't been played yet. I thought I thought that was a cool effect, um, and that they should have maybe reprinted Black Lotus copy cards somehow, tokens maybe. But then they came out with Magic Thirtieth, which essentially is like tokens. I guess you could use those as Black Lotus tokens. Shardless Agent is the retro foil rare, and Urza Saga, nice. So as of the filming of this video, Urza's Saga is $35 to $40. So that has gone up a little bit. The, the fetch lands all went down maybe 15, 20%. Um, but a lot of the other cards like Endurance, Solitude, Urza's Saga, they went up if you, if you kept those for the last couple years since the set came out. Timeless Dragon. It's the rare. Mr. Chandler. I don't think the retro f frame commons or uncommons are worth a ton. Mishra Factory is really good. Dress Down is the rare squirrel token. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think the... You need the rare retro frames and the fetch land retro frames. This is where all the money is. Like this Glimmer Baron little bee costume. Wonder, so we got and Obsidian Charmaw, so a double rare pack. I'm liking the double rare packs, it's pretty sweet. Tide Shaper. Braids, Cabal Minion. Moderation is the other rare. Arcbound Shikari is the foil on Kanan. Z 
Zuron Orb Unmarked Grave Thopter Token. So, as always, the land cycle is where where the value is in magic boxes. Got an uncommon showcase sketch. Esper Sentinel, yes. Okay, so Esper Sentinel is also gone up in the last couple years. This is $25 to $30 for Esper Sentinel. So we'll save that in our hits. We got three hits so far. Prismatic Ending was a good card for X colorless and a white. You could ex exile target non-land permanent if its mana value is less than or equal to the number of colors of mana spent to cast this spell. Vindicate by Brian Snowdy is a rare. Yavimaya Cradle of Growth is the other rare. This was also uh, 10 or $15 for that legendary land. So that's a good hit too. <clears throat> My first introduction to Persist, Modern Horizons 2 was, um, one of Rudy's Alpha Investment box openings. I jumped on the train there and purchased two draft booster boxes. Had some pretty good pulls. I think I got uh, a couple fetch lands in those boxes. But ever since that, I was kind of hooked. I was like, the cards in this set are really awesome. Brainstone, nice. Tatiana, Protector of Argoth, Mythic Rare, and a Sylvan Anthem showcase sketch rare. Yeah, so we put together a full set of the sketch showcase non-foils and a full set of the retro frame foils with the shooting stars on them. I'll put those links into those videos in the description if you want to check out those, those insert sets. Thrasta, Temperest Roar, 7-7 seven, seven. creature for, it's a dinosaur, 10 colorless and 2 green. Massive. Arcbound Javelinier, Chance Encounter, Thought Monitor, also a really good rare. Common foil. Soul, Soul of Migration. Ravenous Squirrel Uncommon Showcase. Another Karth the Lion and a Phantasmal Dreadmaw Common. Okay, seven packs or so left. There is a goblin, a narcromancer, retro frame, prophetic titan. Harmonic Prodigy, Common Foil. Then 
Mystic Redaction is cool. At the beginning of your upkeep, scry one. Whenever you discard a card, each opponent mills two cards. Donato did the art on that one. Another Braids. Inevitable Betrayal is a dollar too rare. So no Monkey Pirates yet. Maybe we'll get one in the last six packs. I don't know. Academy Manufacturer. Manufacturer. Resurgent Belief. Um, we also got a Academy Manufacturer Foil and a Food Token. Four packs left, five packs left, six packs left. <clears throat> this is an awesome set to draft if you do pick up boxes. Cursed Totem, that's a couple bucks. And Sfulin of Sea and Sky is a merfolk god, is the mythic rare. This was really good. And, oh, wow. Triple rare pack, everyone. Look, we got Cursed Totem rare. Um, sea, of, sea and Sky Mythic rare. And a Necrogoyf rare foil. So that was... That was a great pack. All right, home stretch. Will we get there in the close? Verdant Command, Merc Pool, Zombie Token. Rishadan Dockhand. Got a red card, red rare, flame rift uncommon, Decon Shadow Slayer, Showcase Planeswalker by Richard Keen Ferguson. That's pretty cool. He did Decon Black Blade back in Legends. That's why we got the Legends play mat out today. Two packs left. Goblin Bombardment is a rare red card. Sylvan Anthem is also a rare. And the last pack, maybe we'll get another fetch land. Prophetic Titan, Feast, Sea Drake. Uh, Scythus Harvest's Hand is the rare, and we got Out of Time, Shooting Star Foil, Rare Enchantment, this one was pretty good too, for colorless and two white, when Out of Time enters battlefield, untap all creatures, then phase them out until Out of Time leaves battlefield, put a time counter on Out of Time for each creature phase out this way, it has vanishing and that, my friends, lets us know that we are out of time. Appreciate everybody for watching this video. Stay tuned. Uh, we might open up maybe one more box of Modern Horizons 2. And 
um, see if we get a Ragavan in one of those boxes. Chances are pretty good we've got one there. So uh, we will we will play this Urza Saga and have wish you all a great day. Thanks for watching. Check out more videos on the channel if you would. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone.